when and where did the universe originate? What is the universe made up of? The challenge of identifying and understanding the stuff which makes up the universe has formed one of the most frustrating and therefore fascinating quests in modern science. And now we visit the Physical Research Laboratory at Ahmedabad where scientists are engaged in finding answers to these problems. Earth, the only life-supporting planet known to us, is just a small member of the solar system. In fact, even the sun, the central body that dominates all the planetary systems of our known solar system, is just an infinitesimal speck of dust. An ordinary star among the billions of stars in the billions of galaxies in the jungle we call the cosmos. Naturally, probing and understanding the profound mysteries of the cosmos and the evolution of these heavenly bodies has been one of the most intriguing quests of humanity. Among the various scientific groups exploring the vast interstellar space, scientists at the Physical Research Laboratory Ahmedabad are involved in unraveling a few of these mysteries. It can safely be said that the Sun and the solar system are objects formed from a molecular gas and dust cloud. Triggered, perhaps, by a strong push of material ejected by a dying star. When a star, the factory that synthesizes almost all the elements and isotopes we know of dies, it often throws away material either in an explosive manner or in a milder fashion. These materials may contaminate any gas clouds present in the neighborhood, which may then have collapsed to form a new star perhaps four and a half billion years ago. The first grains in the solar system were formed through processes of evaporation and condensation. Aggregation of these grains led to the formation of small objects and accretion of these small objects led to the formation of a large number of kilometer-sized planetesimals. All this happened within the first few million years of the evolution of the solar system. These planetesimals later evolved into the present-day objects we know as the planets, satellites, asteroids and comets. A natural question that then arises is the validity of these beliefs. The evidence, if any, is obviously locked to the unaltered, pristine solar system matter formed in the earlier stages of evolution. Meteorites are time capsules that preserve imprints of the earliest stages of the evolution of the solar system. By chance, pieces of these meteorites came within the influence of the Earth's gravitational field and fell on Earth. Thus, meteorites act as extraterrestrial messengers. In essence, they serve as space probes for detecting and measuring isotopes that may in turn tell us about the origin and evolution of the solar system. Today, scientists at PRL Ahmedabad are studying these very same phenomena using the iron probe, an extremely sensitive high-resolution secondary iron mass spectrometer. What they actually do is enhance the scientist's analytical capability of measuring isotopic compositions weighing less than a nanogram in the primitive meteorite samples available. The time scale for the formation of the sun and some of the first solar system grains was less than a million years, which is much shorter than what theoretical studies have suggested so far. Additional results obtained using indigenously modified noble gas mass spectrometer at PRL has further corroborated these influences. Though the results obtained 
cannot pinpoint the exact nature of the star whose death has triggered the formation of the Sun and the solar system, they could provide astonishing new insights. Insights into the evolutionary history of our solar system and the birth of our very own planet, Earth. <laughs>